You're justified from an accusation. Well, what's the accusation? Not you're not. Right. You're not. Now, what would be the evidence that would prove we're not a son? If we don't have life. Right. So how would God justify us as his children? Giving us, us, giving us his life. Right. Yeah. right? And so what did he do in Jesus? Was it the veil? Yes. The two cherubims that were marking off the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, they're etched on that veil that was torn, that moved the cherubims out of the way. It gave all humans free access to the tree of life. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yeah. And so God justified mankind as his children when he raised Jesus from the dead because now God divorced us from being joined together with death and he restored all of our access to the tree of life. You can't have access to God's life unless you're his child. How can you have an inheritance in someone unless they're your father? I mean, Phil, no offense, but you don't have an inheritance in my parents. It doesn't matter if you want one or not. You can't, you're not going to have one. Right. I can't work it up. You can't work it up. And so we, we, we get into these semantics about things we don't understand. But listen, everybody is the offspring of God. No one could have access to his life unless they first were. Right. Right? And so God come and justified that what he said about man was true in the garden. Mm. And he's given all of us a right to his life. Right? And so that's, Job is, is God's just, it's about justification, redemption. It's about God proving mankind is his children. It's about God proving mankind is his sons and daughters in the way that he does it. It's about God redeeming mankind from the death that came against them. That was the accusation, right? The accusation was, look, you're clothed in death. How can you be the son? He redeems us from the death. That's why Paul talked about that God might be both just and the justifier through the redemption of his blood. But we've been taught the pagan gospel, which is that God was blood hungry. He was real angry that we disobeyed him, and he had to extract a certain amount of flesh before he could move on. So we thought redemption was about being redeemed from God's anger. Mm. And so then we completely missed this whole picture of what actually ails us, which is Satan accusing us. What does he use to accuse us? The death that we're clothed in. And so God says, if I want to destroy the power of the, of the accusation, then I come and redeem them from death. And if they see they've been redeemed from death, and they see they're braided together with me in my life, the accusation has no power. They can never be told they're not the children of God anymore. The accusation had no power against Stephen, and when they all picked up stones and were about to kill him, I see, why did it have any power? I see the Son of Man. Right, standing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see how that works? Yeah. yeah. And so Job is a, a big picture of this man, just and just the justifier. What makes God just is he did justice by defending the poor and the fatherless, by defending the poor and the oppressed. The poor are those who are poor um, in, in soul. They have they don't have life. The fatherless are those who think they're orphans in the earth. The oppressed and the afflicted are those who are being beaten down by sin and death. Mm. And what makes God just is he defends those guys. That's us. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so he's just because he comes and defends us against the serpent system of sin and death. He redeems us from it and he's justifier because he proves that we're his children. Just and the justifier. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? 